Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another episode one. This week we are starting Mist 4 Revelation. Last time out, at the end of Mist 3, we released a particularly troubled person with a hammer onto the streets of Narayan without any supervision. That was apparently the good ending to that game, so... I guess that's canon! Good morning to you, Spiper, in the chat. Great to see you. I'm really looking forward to Mist 4. Um, this is uh, considered to be... Now, the reason we're playing Mist 4 this week, and not Uru, is even though Uru came out first, the community seems to regard Mist 1 through to Mist 4 as like one cohesive thing in a way and Uru and Mist 5 Mist 5 is more a sequel to Uru than it is a a, a different experience let's say or, or a continuation of Mist 4 so really looking forward to uh, seeing this game and, uh, and and doing another episode one with you guys Artaveli in the chat good morning to you hope you're having a great week I'm getting drowned out by the hype music a little okay okay let's let's just get my audio down a little bit for you guys there i'll knock it down another 4 db uh, and i can i can correct that in post anyway for the youtube crowd but uh, but do let me know if the if the levels are okay everett Depanga in the chat hello to you guys hello to you as well hello to you as well um before we start the game quick giveaway okay so i mentioned a little while back that i had myself a spare copy of the book of atrus here's my copy here's the spare copy um so amazon wish lists being like what they are um i got given two copies of this for christmas so i have a spare copy so i'm gonna do a giveaway because we hit 250 subscribers a couple of weeks ago which is you know i think a great milestone for us Always two there are. My copy and a spare. So, uh, if you would like to, if you are interested in receiving a copy of the Book of Atrus from me, um, all you have to do is, if you're on Twitch, you need to do nothing. If you're on YouTube, you need to comment on the video below. And you need to go and join the Discord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up in the Discord a channel called Giveaway. And all you need to do is go to that Discord channel and you need to leave a comment, basically linking up your YouTube comment with your Discord comment, okay? And I'm going to look through those Discord comments and I will DM someone um, to go and give the book away to, okay? So if you're interested in receiving a book, there's obviously no... Uh, the only obligation for you to enter this giveaway is just to leave a comment, effectively, in the... Um, in the Discord server so that I can DM you for uh, for your details and I will go and post you a copy. Um, and depending on your preference, I might even write you a little message. But some people prefer books don't get written in. So if that's your preference, I won't write it in there. Okay. <laughs> well, that was really long-winded and I probably should have scripted something for that, but hey-ho. Right, let's get to the game. All right. Uh, now, let me think. Right. Options, credits, new game. New game. This part's really, really cool if you're not afraid of tight spaces. Dad and me aren't, but sometimes Mom has to close her eyes when I'm driving. I think she's not home right now. I never could have picked you up by myself if she were. Tiny trains in the chat. Just straight away. This is amazing. 10 out of 10. Is that a new image recorder you've got? How cool. And you know, I know the perfect spot to use it. Hang on. Am I? I'm not in control of the camera, right? So this is this is just pre-rendered. It looks great though. This is very reminiscent of Voltaic, isn't it? 
Very, very similar vibe. Isn't Tamana pretty from here? Oh. I remember some of the other times you visited us. You've always liked stopping here. It's one of my favorite spots, too. Okay, so the camera fo Go ahead. Take a picture. The camera focuses depending on where you are pointing the hand. Let's John, see. Don't you want to take a picture right now? Go ahead. Oh blimey, okay. Wow, we're get we're getting hassled by a teenager. Just make sure your thumb's not in the shot. Dad always ruins his images that way. Okay, so this is this is Atrus's daughter, I guess. You keep it in your journal. That way you can take it out and look at it whenever you miss us. Am I going somewhere? <laughs> so this is this is many years post Mist 3 then. Because that girl's it about... It wouldn't be a Cyan game without a little train. It wouldn't. <laughs> I'll tell Dad you're here. Come on. Yeah, that girl's like 11 or 12 years old. So this is like a clear decade past. Right. So, yeah, okay. So, similarly, we've got... We've got a full 3D thing going on. I would quite like to get rid of that um, auto-focusing thing. Graphic options. S toggle special immersive effects. You can disable this with the mouse. This option will disable or enable many visual animations like trees and birds. No. Water effects. Depth of field. This is a camera focus effect based on the distance of objects. Yeah, no. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't like it. We like subtitles. We do not like the choice of font they have for subtitles. <laughs> it's the 2000s, though. It was a wild time. Oh wow, oh the there's a little animation which gives you a little finger gun when you can uh, when you can walk forward. Interesting. Uh so we've also got Justy303 in the chat. Hello to you. Apparently we've visited many times. Cool uncle friend of the family. He does have gadgets and gizmos aplenty, doesn't he? So this is, uh, this is an observatory. The hand animation is a little bit Strange, isn't it? That'll take a little bit of getting used to. Hello, my friend. Hello. You made it in one piece, so just driving wasn't too erratic, I hope. <laughs> well, you're probably wondering why I asked you. you know? The truth is, I, I need your help. Mm-hmm. Again? As you know, my son, Cyrus and Akinaw, were trapped 20 years ago after they destroyed many of the ages I'd written. Time, Catherine and I decided to leave them imprisoned because we'd hoped it might reform them. <laughs> okay. Now, Catherine believes our son should be released. Bit difficult to do, but isn't I it? I need an objective. I must find out if either Cirrus or Akinar deserve to be freed, and you're the only one we can trust. You remember my old crystal viewer? I've made some changes to it. Calibrated its sound component. Um, it'll Crystal actually be quicker if we do this together. And I can show you the two prison ages before we link to them. So if you step to the panel behind you, we can begin. Okay. 
So, Crystal Viewer, I don't think that's something we've come across before. Um, is this what people are talking about with the retconning of the uh, of the prison books? Because... Oh, go on. This shouldn't take long. Yeah, no, sure, sure, sure. I'm just trying to think. Because you destroyed the prison books that these guys okay. were trapped in. I'm going to transmit a waveform that's being generated by the first prison age. It will appear as a yellow line in your right-hand monitor. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. In order to hear Haven, we must manipulate the blue line until it exactly matches that waveform. The blue line is the result of two combined signals, which we'll manipulate separately using the three dials, amplitude, uh -huh. frequency, and phase. But first, we have to select the signal to manipulate, so move the slider left or right. Move the slider left and right. Now turn the leftmost dial to adjust the signal's amplitude or volume. Yep, fine. The amplitude seems fine. Now turn the dial on the far right to adjust the signal's phase. Uh, be around about Try that. selecting a different signal. Yep, fine, okay. You're talking me through a turn lot right now. Dial. <laughs> This is like this is like having a manager like over your shoulder whilst you're whilst Try you're amplitude. trying to do That's work. The leftmost dial. Um, okay. Try the leftmost dial. Try the leftmost dial. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're just we're just adding different. The we're, sounds okay. Yeah, we're adding sort of a. It's it's we're adding sort of Fourier components together. Mm, the frequency needs to be faster. Try turning the center dial to adjust the signal's frequency. Try moving the slider. More frequency. A little more left. Left. Phase is pretty close now. I think I'll just Try listen to him. Frequency. Okay. Frequency needs to be faster. Fine. Increase the frequency. Try selecting a different signal. Okay. Try the phase dial. It's the one on the right. There we go. Got it. Hang on a second. I'll Can you follow the instructions? The game. The spire. The second prison age. Here it comes. Haven and Spire. Okay. Try adjusting the amplitude. The amplitude seems fine. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Mm -hmm. The volume sounds pretty good. Now adjust the center dial. Too much. Yeah, more like the that. frequency seems fine. A little more left. More left. Okay. Try moving it right. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Try moving the slider. Try the dial on the right. More to the right. More. No, you've gone too far. Too much. Too much. Try selecting a different signal. Okay. Try adjusting the phase. That's... That's too much, my friend. Try moving it right. There's not much moving that can be done on it, to be fair. Try moving the slider. Okay, I'll take the different signal. Reposition the phase. Further left. Further left. The phase is well positioned. Okay, fine, good. Turn the amplitude dial. Be something around there, right? Turn up the volume. Up the volume. Less amplitude. Less volume now. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. 
Try the frequency. That's the center dial. Fine. That's the getting us closer. Needs to be faster. Faster. Oh, no, no, that's too, too much. much. Something like Try that. Try selecting a different signal. Oh my word. Try moving the slider to select a different signal. Okay. Send it back. Try the center dial. Is he actually not helping us now? Try moving the slider. Try adjusting the frequency. There we go. That's that's going to be it. Try selecting a different signal. Oh, with well, that's pretty close. Try the phase dial. It's the one on the right. There you go. The phase's positioning seems good. Fine. We got it. Adjust the leftmost dial. Adjust the leftmost dial. Louder. Louder. What? That's 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 bang on, mate. You've got it. Don't change a thing. I'll just lock it in here. All right, good. Ah, got it. Seems to me if you just put those right, controls over by you, you, you could have done all of that. Now. So let's begin, shall we? Oh no! What in the name? Uh, oh no, Atrus is about to get Professor X again. Oh, what a mess. The image modulator short circuited wires are completely fused. Oh dear, I guess there's no way to the viewer itself seems okay. Visit your sons now. So maybe if I link to rhyme. All right. Slight change in plans, my friend. Explosion must have shut down the main power supply and damaged the viewer's external image modulator. There's of another course. one on Rhyme, so I'm going to link there and retrieve it. Oh, I'll have to stop at the cleft for some tools first. Um, why not hand me your journal? I can read it in the meantime. Gone. Go to the water wheel control room. Close both emergency release gates, then come back here and use the crystal viewer to contact me. The, uh, the crystal combination to see rhyme is in my journal. Oh, uh, you'll have to turn on the roof antenna before the viewer will work. Okay. <laughs> Keep an eye on Yisha, will you? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Oh, dear. He's a funny guy, is Atrus, isn't he? Okay, okay. Wow, what an opening. There's a lot to unpack there. There's a lot to unpack there. But um, here we go. The hand is fun. There probably should have been an option to skip the animations, mouse over the important thing too fast, and it won't react. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I'm just going to catch up with chat, because I wasn't able to really read chat whilst we were doing all of that. Um... So, uh, first time chatter, Zephyronicus, what Spiper said. Excellent, thanks. Um, this is why I recommended playing Rhyme first. Uh, Artavelli says, this is funny that he thinks we can give him an objective opinion about Cirrus and Akinar. Everett says, Artavelli, I think this is our first clue. We've had a retcon. Artavelli says, I don't think retcons are previous actions or discoveries, more like the mechanics of the prison age. And then, uh, a couple years ago, Rand publicly said he finds this part so mortifying that he can't play Mist 4. Oh, really? No! Oh, not, not, not because of the plot, presumably. Because I, I know that Rand is not, a, is not a fan of seeing his own acting. And, and to be fair, you know, we should, be, we should be charitable with Rand in that regard. Because he's not a professional actor, right? But... I think the community prefer seeing him as Atros, you know. Um, so this is our quest. Uh, Atros's reference to us as objective may imply that this protagonist is not the same as the Mist One protagonist. Oh, and Artavelli disagrees. It's definitely the same protagonist, just a slip in the writing. Okay. Um. I'm assuming we are, I'm assuming, without any other evidence, I think it's fair to s assume that we are the same um, protagonist. I'm not sure when Rhyme was added to Mist, uh, to Mist but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. What's a bigger deal is 
It's a little bit surprising to me to hear that Cirrus and Akinar are alive, frankly, because they were trapped in a, you know, in a prison dimension. They were basically sent to the Phantom Zone, and, um, and then those descriptive books were destroyed. Which is... A real interesting turn of events, let's say. Now, he certainly said journal and pointed over there, so we should definitely pick that up. Okay, we've got ourselves three little devices here. Fine. And we have a map. Okay. And a chair. With a button. Nope. Uh, we might not have any power. So I think I think let's go to the water wheel and uh, and so forth. Uh, we get to use this original crystal viewer in the Rhyme expansion. Basically, you plug a combination of crystals into it, it lets you remotely view a whole different age from a fixed point. Okay. Oh dear, <laughs> Ran Miller is the best actor in Mist Four. Oh, so we're not. We're not continuing the noble mist tradition of getting a, a, a really great actor to play our uh, main antagonist. You think that if trap books are retconned out, we would never have actually met Cirrus and Akinar before in this version, so we're less biased. We still saw their rooms at the very least. That is true. But... Uh Can we get over to this desk? What is that piece of paper? He definitely was pointing over here when he was talking about his journal, wasn't he? So just to check, what do we have? We've got a, a picture taker. We have a little... A little movie viewer. Okay. Right, so we can... Oh, no, 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 This is... Oh, this is how we can view pictures that we've taken. Oh, that's a nice addition, isn't it? What is that? Oh, that's fast travel. Cool. Okay. He definitely said he had a journal right here. And he, he pointed over here. What am I missing? There's lots of books around. Oh, hang on, wait. Aha, we have a drawer. I mean, it's... My hand is just tapping stuff. Okay, right. It's right click to sort of move away from something you've zoomed in on.
No, that's just moving me over here. Oh, hang on, wait, we've got another drawer that we can open. I think. Aha! That's gonna be it. Right, excellent. Oh, okay, it's, it's click and hold to turn the pages. All right, who's ready for some journal reading? Okay, let me just quickly catch up on the chat. Um, now, given a line later in this game, we still must have met the boys. The game flips back and forth on it. The Watson letters say we canonically never met them in mist. Oh, blimey, okay. Fair enough, right, so there's a bit of retconning back and forth. For now, let's just assume that, uh, that, yeah, for now, let's just assume we're the same character and we know what we already know. That's probably the easiest way to approach this. Okay. I am always surprised by how good it feels to return home after one of my journeys. In the day, heat simmers off the cliff, bathing me in unexpected warmth. At night, gentle breezes stir the lake and I often hear Catherine singing to Yisha. The sound of their voices fills me with such joy I find myself wondering why I ever left. Perhaps I am more aware of this tonight, having spent so much time alone in rhyme. The trip was unavoidable. It has been weeks since I viewed Cirrus and Akinar's prison ages, and I needed to be assured of their safety. The crystal viewer did not show much, so I began considering how I might improve it. I am now fairly certain I can achieve a tighter image if I redesign the mechanism itself. I have yet to tell Catherine of these plans. I do not wish to raise her hopes prematurely. After far too brief a visit with my family, I have returned to Rhyme to conduct preliminary tests. The frigid temperatures in this age are vital for the crystals to function, yet I find it increasingly difficult to work in the cold. Perhaps I can find a way to simulate extreme temperatures inside the viewer itself so that I can install it on Tamana when ready. We've got crystal selector, cooling unit, blank linking book, and crystal containment holders. So he's basically, presumably, he's using like the viewers on a linking book to see into an age without linking there, I guess, in some way. Tonight I set aside experimentation for a few hours to watch the lights illuminate Rhyme's sky. Their beauty has not dimmed since I first saw them. I could not fully enjoy the show, however, for it put me in mind of Cirrus and Akinar and the months we spent here constructing the towers. Soon, what had been happy memory for me was mired in regrets. I doubt I will ever know what caused my sons to become so greedy. I only know that when they looked at the ages described in my library, fantastic worlds one could travel to easily simply by touching a book's linking panel, they saw only dreams of wealth and power. They devised a plan, an evil plan. When my back was turned, they linked to my ages, plundered and destroyed them. I know Cirrus and Akinar must pay a price for these crimes, yet it brings me no joy to picture them stranded on the two uninhabited ages I wrote to protect my library from thieves. I only hope that my sons will someday reject their wicked yearnings and find it in their hearts to reform. After experimenting with several liquid gases, I have found a pressure variable that should allow the crystal viewer to function in Tamana. Tomorrow, I link to Relation to enlist help from the Guild of Machinists. Catherine was unusually subdued when I showed her the new blueprints. She trusts that the viewer will work, but wishes we could visit our sons in person. I would like that as well, but until I am convinced of remorse, I cannot risk their escaping. I was fairly certain the evaporator coils would work, and indeed I was able to achieve a blurry image of Spire within the new viewer's blank book. Unfortunately, a more powerful suppressor is needed to stabilize the image. Guildmaster Andritus suggested that I install several geodes inside the roof of the observatory, then use the antenna to focus them. 
This would amplify the clean frequency enough that the crystal viewer can work. Success! Not only was I able to view both Spire and Haven, but I also saw my laboratory on Rhyme quite clearly. The crystal code for Rhyme was difficult to remember, having not had much reason to use it previously, I must make a full list of codes soon. But for now, I will keep Rhymes close at hand. Let's now have a little screenshot of Rhymes code there. And let's uh, move over to our little notebook. So we'll just, we'll just pop Rhymes code in, and that's our fourth, uh, that's our first note in Mist 4. I always knew my sons had great potential, but today I saw something that truly amazed me. Cirrus is harnessing electricity. At least that is what I assume, for the viewer caught a brief glimpse of something I have never before seen in his age. It had to be a man-made construction. A burst of interference destabilized the image before I could study the device properly, but its existence offers proof that at least some at least one of my sons is making the most of his confinement, rather than wallowing in despair. The interference effect is curious. It had disrupted my viewing of ages on more than one occasion, although I first assumed it to be a problem with the geodes. I now believe it to be subsonic in origin. I think the roof antenna is picking up wave fluctuations emitted by one or more ages. If this is true, I might be able to use that fluctuations to hear what is occurring in an age. I shall have to think on this carefully. So, okay, so the prison ages are more like just uninhabited ages now. You know, similar to how, effectively, similar to how, um... Savidro was imprisoned, just on an uninhabited age that he had no way of moving away from. I guess. It has been an exciting two weeks. Catherine, Yisha and I have just returned from Relation, where I spent most of my time in conversations with various guildmasters. I am now convinced that the shape and colour of the crystals gives them individual resonance signatures. By combining the resonances of five crystals together, I can discover a global pattern of emissions, a sound signature as it were, that is unique to the age being viewed. Guildmaster Andritus assisted me in drawing up plans for a filtration panel that will enable the antennae to hone in on whatever wave fluctuations I want. I truly will be able to listen to an age. Tomorrow I begin building the panel. I have decided to use Rhyme as its present configuration since that is the age which first enabled me to construct a crystal viewer. The panel is finished, but I am too tired to test it tonight. Catherine tried to hide it, but the sounds we heard coming from Akinar's prison age nearly brought her to tears. Once again, I had to reassure her of his safety. My, works eventually my words eventually convinced her, but I know she longs for more substantive proof. I fear she may take matters into her own hands soon. I must confess, I too long for more information than the viewer is currently providing. Tomorrow I shall link to Rhyme. I have an idea for an attachment, something akin to a moving eye that will allow me to change points of view while using the crystal viewer. If it works, I might finally be able to see if my sons have reformed. And that is all that is written. Okay, so we need to go and sort out a water wheel and we need to go and sort out an antenna. And then we'll have power back. Uh, liquid gases might be a callback to the Book of Denis. Might be. I've not read it. <laughs> when Atreus said to find the combination in his journal, the camera automatically looked right at this drawer. The stranger already knew where he stashed his book, and Atreus just assumed we would... <laughs> we would. Assumed correctly. Well, okay. Here we go. I thought this drawer looked suspicious as well. What do we have in here? Donk donk. Is 
There we go. It's a real it's a real who's who of various sounds that we can see. Okay. Water wheel first. Can we take the tiny train there? Well, hang on. It's not here. Eight of us have gone and taken it. So, there must be a different way out or down. Or, there's a button to call it. Hmm. I'm just sort of moving the hand slowly to see if it gives me any kind of animation, but it is not. And that's not a button, apparently. Was there another exit that I missed? Possibly. There is other stuff in this room, of course. How are the sound levels in the game coming through the stream? Oh, the drawers have closed themselves. Does that look like an elevator to you? Or is it just an observation window? Okay, well this thing's all busted up, so that's not going to be a thing. We've got this map, but it's not super... Du so this is the building we're in. Yes, because look, you can see here, this is the... Unless that's the building we're in, but I don't think it is. I think this is the building we're in. Because if we go to this window, we are overlooking the lake, yes? Okay, right. We can see big building. One, two, three. And then we see a thing over there in the distance. So I'm pretty sure where we are... Maybe the thing in the middle of the room is the elevator. Okay. Um, so I think where we are is this building here and we're overlooking all of this and that's where we need to get to with the water wheel, possibly. Okay. Let's see if we can get into... Oh, hang on, there's a switch. Wait, there was a switch just there. Where's that switch gone? No, maybe that switch just calls the elevator. And we've also got another switch here as well. Here we go. Okay, blimey. It only took us like 20 minutes to get out of that room. Right! Where do we want to go? Middle? Oh, it's kind of weird. We can, we can move around. If we move, if we make it pan like that. Okay, interesting. What does this do? Is this open and closing the door? Yes. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? 
I see. So the thing up on the tracks is missing its lever at the top. Okay, so the middle floor drops us off on a big catwalk. Where does the bottom floor take us? Um That's weird. Didn't it just didn't it just go before? We just pulled it and it went. Oh, the light has gone off. So it looks like we can't get to the bottom floor currently. Okay, that's fine. Your player movement is quite laggy in this one, isn't it? It seems like your character moves a lot slower. Hey, come here, you gotta see this. Sure thing. Hello, Burb. Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Don't worry. He'll come back. It's his favorite sleeping spot. My necklace showed it to me. Got it two weeks ago on an age called Serenia. Shows me all kinds of stuff. That is well you sus. Think strange that my necklace shows me things? Yes. <laughs> he says a lot of things I've seen on Serenia aren't real. My brothers believe me though. <laughs> That's like, oh man, there's like six different things from that conversation that are concerning. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? It's like a bureau that we can open up. I'm sensing that's not going to do anything until we get the water wheel as well. We have a book we can read though, possibly. You think we're now at the apex of visual design in the whole Mist series? Probably your biggest compliment for the game. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, Tamana is absolutely brilliant. It's, the, it's a kind of interesting mix, I think, of nature and technology, right? It sort of reminds me a little bit of a steampunk Rivendell. Let's have a look at this book. Multiple pages? No, just the one page. Okay. Butterflies and dragonflies. That looks like a thing, doesn't it? I'm not sure we should open that, necessarily. I mean, I don't think it'll do any harm to open it, but like... Why? Any of these of relevance? Doesn't really seem like it. Oh!
very odd. Oh, we can't close that again. All right, well, uh, I think let's, uh, rather than leaving a trail of destruction in our path... Oh, it did close behind us. That's nice. Let's, uh, let's make our way onwards. We got a water wheel to fix. <laughs> you need to try using that as an image generator prompt. <laughs> uh, hey, I'd be really interested to see the results. Stick it up on the uh, stick it up on the Discord. Okay, let's try the uh, the right hand path first, shall we? Because that seems to. I think it's the it was the further back building, right? That's the same image that we saw on the control panel. Oh. Well, the water wheel's not turning, but we've uh, we've lost the error now. Long press is not the one. So maybe we do need to go back to that control panel. That error is the same... Um, it's the same symbol that we saw on the control panel in, in what sort of looked a bit like the Bureau, right? So, Magic Crystal. Magic Crystal which shows you things allows you to talk to your brothers. I don't think you should really be talking to your brothers anyway, to be honest. Hello. Let me guess. Dad blew the power again, didn't he? He does that a lot. Mom made him install an extra power box in here just in case. Oh no! This box is supposed to make sure certain things always work in the house. There aren't enough rows lit up correctly. Only a green light on top of a filled row means something's getting power. Green light on top of Wonder if you can move them. Better not. <laughs> Mom doesn't like me messing with electrical stuff. Come on, little guy, let's go see our friends. I mean, to be fair, that's not a bad rule to have in your house, hey, in honesty. I never noticed that before. So cool. I think my beetles are making a nest. Oh, wow. I'll have to show this to Dad soon as he gets home. He loves this kind of stuff. I didn't realize. Is that a door at the back of the room? Man, Yisha is creepy. Okay. So, these are the water wheels, right? We need a green light at the top of every column. Bonk, bonk. Tap the gauge. Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can move my... Ah, oh, yeah, okay, 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 right. Ugh. Tell you what, I'm getting a stiff neck because my game window is all the way over to the left. So, it's a funny, it's a funny game, Mist 4, right? Because, um... It doesn't let you play it in windowed mode, natively, so I've had to fiddle around with some of the Steam settings in the back end to make it appear inside a window. That should be a little bit more comfortable now. 
I don't know why I didn't think to do that before, to be honest. It's just that when you, uh, well, because my primary monitor's over on the left, when you force something into windowed mode, it just happens to populate it into the top left of the screen. Okay. Oh, do you know what? That is actually much better. <laughs> It's like that meme, isn't it, where it's like, you know, you go to your doctor and you're like, oh, you know, it, it, it really hurts my back when I'm sitting at work and the doctor asks how you sit at work and it's like hunched over like this. Or... Okay, so that is certainly a thing. Oh, let's check out this hidden door at the back of the room. It sort of blends into the scenery a little bit, doesn't it? But what do you reckon that is? Okay, probably a shortcut that we unlock later. So the beetles are building a nest. Well, good thing we didn't, like, open the top and let them out. Otherwise, Yisha probably would have been really upset with us. Let's just leave, let's just leave her science experiment be, shall we? Yeah, too much lag time with the hand cursor changing. I'd say too much lag time with the hand cursor changing. I'd also say a little bit too much lag time once you've actually clipped it with then... I thought there was someone standing there with then um, moving. Incidentally, this this compound, considering that... Uh, ooh, we're getting, like, moving visuals. Considering, like, three people live here is massive. got here. A couple of bottles. Oh. My love, we must be united in this. Can you find it in your heart to listen and forgive? For I cannot be strong in this alone. I'm assuming that says Catherine and that says Atrus. Just purely on the length of the uh, of the words. This is uh, River Knees, I believe. It's either Rivenese or Dene, not sure. We've certainly seen that script in Riven. It's Dene, Artavelli has reliably informed us. Oh, yeah. I thought that looked a bit sus. What have we got? Something we're definitely going to take a screenshot of. So, we've got code panel. Code panel, laser one, laser two, lamp two, lamp one, fireplace, enter inside. Turn both lamps on. Note, turn one of the lamps off to reset the code readout after having achieved correct code combination. That looks a bit like the fireplace puzzle in the original mist, doesn't it? We're going to have to be super careful whilst playing this game that we don't miss stuff. Okay. Bonk. No. But where are the lamps? Lamp. Bonk. They're not on. Ah, well, we don't have power, of course, do we? The power's out. Fine. Let's not worry about that.
what channel in the Discord? Oh, blimey. I don't know, really. <laughs> um, probably just on post-video discussions, I guess. If you want to start a, uh, a Mist 4... A Mist 4 thread. We don't have one yet. Hmm... So that's a bit locked out. So that's uh, that's almost certainly some kind of extending bridge. Overall though, I really like the aesthetic. Like... I'm certainly enjoying Tamana as a place to explore more than Jananan, you know? It feels a lot more like the original Mist than, um, than Jananan did. Okay. I wonder, you know... Oh, I don't know. Should I let the flies out? So, do the flies, this is going to be a weird question, but no, that's an oil lamp, clearly, that's, that's not, these are not connected, I don't think this is like Savidro's workshop, I mean obviously, oh, wait, this thing, what is this, we didn't even look at that, oh, it's a microscope, What does this have to show us? It's sort of the different, uh, different magnifications on the leaves. I'm not sure if that's gonna give us anything though. Okay, right, let's go back to this panel. So these appear to kind of not be doing anything. Those are not buttons. We've got six rows, or six columns rather, which is the same number of buttons we have down here. Okay. These five when you press them stay down but that one stays up if that top one is pressed okay so you press the first one and they're all up you press the second one they all go down okay they all stay down with two three four and six but they all come up with number one and number five. But none of those seem to affect the lights at all. Hmm. So this resets the keys, 
So this might be a reset, and this is a check that my code is correct. Yeah. So I think we probably need the code from somewhere. Now that's a backup panel. Here we are. What do we got here? This is not Atrus's handwriting. This looks more like Yisha's written it. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's Catherine. Nah, this doesn't look like Catherine's handwriting either. The uh, the handwriting's pretty rough. So, but this doesn't read like it's written by an 11-year-old. Okay, let's see what it says. I linked to Haven yesterday. The smell of... Hmm. Iron? The smell of something, beach, washed over me long before my vision cleared. With the veil of haze slowly lifting from my eyes, I forced myself to breathe very deeply. We got first time chatter, Dodger with a seven. How are you doing? Great to see you. Hi there. Welcome to the channel. Catherine's handwriting was the f hardest to read in Riven, if you remember. Yeah, okay, maybe this is Catherine. This doesn't look like Catherine's handwriting from Riven. But, um, because she was writing in cursive back in Riven. Um, with the veil of haze slowly lifting from my eyes, I forced myself to breathe very deeply. I had not told Atrus I was doing this. He would have argued with me and told me again how dangerous it is to visit the prison ages before Tamana's linking chamber is built. But construction takes time, and I could no longer wait for him. The might of the shipwreck rising out of the sea filled me with unexpected dread. That's the sight rather than the might. Of course, I'd known it would be there. I'd seen it countless times. I'd seen it countless times in Atrus Viewer, but seeing it for real through the slanted metal bars made me realize exactly what we'd done. I imagined the wonder my sons would. No, I imagined the words my sons would throw at me, and courage drained away. Like summer wine, I did not try to signal him. I feel nothing but numbness now. It was my idea to write the chambers into existence, to bend the art so that a rescue room might be inserted in each age with solid walls no force of man might break. Only then could we risk visiting our sons and leaving a Tamana linking book behind us when we left. It took me months to convince Atrus that could work, but now that the chamber exists and I will speak to my sons for the first time in years, I find myself not knowing what to say. How will I explain our decision to leave them prisoners if hardship and isolation have not caused them to repeat their ways, our hope, what words will soothe the anger in their souls. Weeks have passed and I still have not found the courage to link again. Perhaps it is just as well. Atrus was not pleased when he learned what I had done. He begged me to have more patience, then put extra... Put extra something on the Guild of Stonemasons to finish. Pressure on the Guild of Stonemasons to finish. Today they informed us that Tomar's 
at Tomahana's chamber will be ready in two days. Had we been able to use the art to create it, as we did with the ones in the prison ages, it would have already been finished. But obviously we don't have the Earth descriptive book anymore, right? But things always take longer to build when you must do it by hand. Now Atrus is looking forward to having our bedroom back. I should be too, but I keep wondering how I'll be able to sleep there, knowing our sons are just a wall away. I worry how they'll act when they greet us, how different they will be from the laughing boys and I remember playing with toy boats in mist reflection pool. They were happy then. We all were happy. Anna was still with us and the love we shared as a family knew no bounds. Then Anna died and our cosy world unraveled. To deal with the loss of his grandmother, Atrus buried himself in work, spending less and less time with our own sons. As years at mm, eight years old, let's go with, Cyrus must have seen this as rejection, but even then his pride was too well formed to let it show. And as for Akinar, he'd never known how to channel his emotions appropriately. I do not excuse the crimes committed. Cyrus and Akinar shattered so many lives in far worse ways than Anna's death shattered ours. It's for that reason that I have stood by Atrus's decision and left my sons imprisoned all these years. But I cannot escape my own culpability in there something when could be sin, could be sin, I'm not sure. Uh, when Cyrus and Akinar needed me most, I was too consumed by sorrow to see. I am being torn in two. I am trapped between a mother's love for her children and a woman's loyalty to her husband. I don't know if... And she sort of scribbled that out. Uh... It is so hard. Oh, this is her being torn in two. Ah, so this is like this is like her depiction of Atrus here, I guess. <laughs> it is so hard. I watched Atrus and Akinar trying to communicate, and it feels like knife blades slipping through my uh no ripping through my heart. They don't know how to relate to each other. Akinar speaks only from emotion and Atrus fears. He's made his son a savage. Only my presence keeps things from fraying. It's easier with Cirrus. They share a love of science and Cirrus's willingness to discover advancements he's made ignites a similar excitement. Oh, to discuss advancements he's made ignites a similar excitement in Atrus. Yet even then, Atrus doesn't believe. He's willing to... Mm, he's unwilling to trust because he knows what monsters they have been. The handwriting... It might be getting worse? Um, I must find a way to resolve this. I must break through Atrus's doubts and get him to see what he cannot. It's been a long time since I've written in this journal. I thought perhaps I'd lost it, but while repotting plants in my study, I found it behind one of the incubators. It must have fallen there where Atrus reconfigured the generator. No matter, I have it now. Yisha asked me today if Atrus and I are still arguing. She... Something, something. At the patio table, her head bowed over her school book. She was seated, I guess. Uh, she was concentrating so hard on tracing a... Some kind of animal, presumably. 
I don't think she saw my reaction. We have always been careful not to disagree in front of her, and I should have realised how insightful she can be. I watched my daughter forming the Denis word so carefully, and I remembered how easy it had been to convince Atrus to start teaching her the art. She even did teach... He... Never did teach Cirrus or Akinar. He started to. He wrote Jananin specifically for that purpose. But after a while, he feared they would abuse it, so he stopped. He's not worried about Yisha. He sees how curious she is about life and how full of warmth she can be. It's obvious how much he adores her, as I think do Cirrus and Akinar. If there is any hope in there for all of us, it will be through her. I must not let family tensions upset her. Tomorrow I will speak to Atrus about my going to Tay for a few days. Perhaps time away will help me gain perspective and discover what it is I need to do. Interesting. Gara Hevti. Ah, oh, right. Oh, that's a Dene word. I see. I see. Oh, right. She was drawing out the Dene word for, for something. Okay, good. Um, and thank you for the corrections in the chat there, Artavelli. Now, the interesting part of that journal. Well, there were several interesting parts of it, to be fair. She mentions, however, reconfiguration of the power. Repotting plants in my study, I found it behind one of the incubators. It must have fallen there when Atrus reconfigured the generator. Is that a clue? Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's just the main, that's just the main thing. Okay. I don't think... The problem is there's a lot of weird ways that nature and electricity work together, right? Like, I don't know if this is literally just an Easter egg. We're going to open it up. We're going to open it up. It's really, it's, it's very hard to say whether this is just an Easter egg or whether this is part of the puzzle because, like, we know from places like, um... Uh, Edana that there's weird kind of nature plus electricity kind of puzzle works that kind of go on. Hopefully those insects weren't another villain that Atrus sealed away. Oh well, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe maybe that's the maybe that's the precipitating event that's just going to turn um Yisha into a villain. The villain that she's always been secretly all along. No, I'm thinking it's far more likely we're going to end up with some kind of the crystal is a mind control device kind of situation. <clears throat> yeah, I have a feeling we did absolutely nothing there except ruin a girl's afternoon. Well, doesn't that make me feel great?
bucket. Oh, we've got a ladder. Ah. We didn't need to set your bugs free at all now. all along. I'm trying to remember the song I learned on Serenia, but it's really hard. Well, keep practicing. I've got to get it perfect because I promise to play to my brother next time I see him. Again. <laughs> Do you know what that very much reminds me of? It very much reminds me of the Gregorian chant from Halo 2, okay? Is this going to be another music comparison short? Yes, it will be. Right. Let's wait for her to start again. It's, it's, it's... Da -na 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 -na. Do you hear it? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay. <laughs> Aha. We can move that around. No. That handles another thing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit like, okay, so everything's needing power. But do you know what? Maybe we can do some solar power. I thought maybe we could angle that so that it's sort of in the in the sun long press no it looks weirdly sus that the sun is like beaming into this room like that you know Can't speak to her further. Okay. We can come back to that later. There's no side path around there. Yeah, I don't think going up the lift is going to help us do anything. Not without the power restored. Okay. We could think about going back to the map and seeing if there's a clue anywhere on the map, of course. But... So this we literally cannot get to move. Which... But if it's the water wheel that generates the power, it shouldn't need power, right? Like that seems like an obvious thing to an extent
I'm assuming we don't have any ladders in here. It doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, Artavelli and Dodger are having a uh, 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 an animated discussion about the nature of plurality of words. Uh, this is not something I have any like. My my knowledge of English extends about as well as being able to speak it well. <laughs> so I have no opinion on this at all. You know what? I don't get it. I don't get it. So we've got we've got a panel here which seems to not do anything. We've got a panel here with buttons that seems to not do anything. And what you kind of want, what we kind of want is we need it's it's these two in the middle that need turning on. So, long presses, long presses are not doing anything different to anything else. Right, okay, right, no. Something happened now, fine. So, we did something to make that work. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, right, 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 right. right. Ah, I get it. I get it. Ah, right. You select the column you're taking power out of, and then you select the column you're going to put the power into, and then you hit go. Oh, man. That took a lot of fiddling, didn't it? Come on, Atrus. Write some instructions, mate. Come on, come on. All right. So, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Right, let's reset the puzzle back to where we start. And uh, let's take a little screen screenshot here. And we will go and we'll start drawing some... We'll start drawing some pictures. We'll start drawing up some pictures. So, We need one, two, three, four, five. So that's got five in there. We've got five in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six in here. And bear in mind, you can overpower them by one, which will be important when you're trying to get four gallons into the five gallon jug. Yeah? Oh, no, four. Ah! How can I, how can I literally mess up three plus one? What am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so that's another six, and but it's actually got a seven, and that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we can put ten in there. So, what do you need? You need five. <laughs> Maths on stream, the bane of every streamer's existence. Yeah. It's the sort of thing I, sh I feel like I should be able to do. <laughs> right. So we need to get five out of these. Now, here's the thing. There is no... You could trivially do it if you had a four, five column, right? Because you overfill the five and then you just transfer the five into here. But we don't have that. Yeah. Um, you can't pour out exactly one gallon out of the jug because every column allows you to overcharge it. So the only way you're doing it is if you get one of the larger columns down to 
five exactly and then pour it out which we can do by taking the nine pouring out four into here yeah and then taking the remaining five and putting the remaining five into one of the columns okay so that's going to be our first move then we're going to have four in here and we're going to have a uh, six in here with which we can uh, best way probably using the seven and six right you've never seen someone plan this out well this is this is how we play we plan it right I mean we can we can we can see how we're going to do it like as we do it like I think that's pretty reasonable as a first move but where it's going to leave us is it's going to leave us with four in here six in here which we've not touched and we'll have five in there which will be nice <laughs> people just brute force this smash 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 <laughs> Well, I mean, the running joke of the series is we are Atrus Muscle, right? Like, a Atrus didn't hire us for our puzzle-solving ability. Atrus hired us because we're stacked and we're going to take on Gen and we're going to, uh, you know... Like, after we released Atrus from his prison on Denis, he was just like, Man, you are exactly the kind of guy I want to send after Gen here. It's all explained in my journal. Stacked with no feet. Or a ghost, potentially. Who doesn't love smacking buttons? That's true. Okay. So we're going to end up with um, five, six, and four, right? Which is uh, the nine and the six we currently have. This six, then, and this four, we could combine that. Uh, so both of those are sixes and sevens. Ah, yeah, so if you put those up into here, you're going to end up with 10, which you're then not going to be able to siphon off. You could make a 3. If you make a 3 by brimming that one, yeah, you could move a 3 over to here. Then you need a 2. So from seven, take away four. Well, that gives you another three. So that's not going to work. You could move four across to here. And that's fine. Uh, but then if you brim this one with the three, you'll be left with three here. And that's not useful to get five. So we need a way, maybe we need to use this five somehow, but I don't think that, I don't think that could, yeah, I'm not sure, not sure. So. You could definitely... Hmm. Well, you could brim this into a six. Ah, no, no, no. Brimming that into a six is functionally the same as just moving this six into this column. Yeah? And then what you need is you need one which has a gap of one, which we don't have. Yeah? Like, if you made that instead the first move and then took the one out into this column, that would be fine, but what that leaves you with is ten and five, which is basically exactly the same as us having six and four. So that's no good. So five, six, and four is our sort of second starting point. And what we need is we need to get a second... Five. 
So we could move four across, or we could move three across. If we move four across, yeah, we'll end up with having... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, if we move four across, we could then have move... No, that again just splits it into three and three. Ah, oh, I'm having nightmare visions from Quern coming back. This was a really tricky puzzle in our Quern playthrough as well. We didn't we didn't really do very well in there either. Oh no, I accidentally closed the thing. No, don't close the thing. Like I think we're reasonably happy that you drain it from there and you're going to put it in there and that's going to give you four. And then we're still going to drain it from there and we're going to put it in there and that's going to give us five. Now I'm like 90% certain that if we go back to the... Um, if we go back to the water wheel... That's going to give us one of the things has been powered, but the other one hasn't been. Yeah, and I'm... In fact, I'll go as far as to say I'm 99% certain one of them's going to be green and the other one's not going to be anything and we're still not going to be able to pull the thing and it's still not going to do anything. So yeah, no, both, both need power. Both need power. I, I just find it, you know, Everett Artavelli, I just find it wild that this language, which so far hasn't really been anything except just a backdrop in um, Riven, is apparently actually a language that is fully fleshed out. I'm, I'm really surprised. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. I'm running out of time in today's stream to be able to solve this one. We're running out of time, guys. Okay, we've got... We've got four and six. We could move this five in and out of somewhere if necessary. Yeah? But obviously it would be stupid to put it somewhere like here and then try and stack a second five on top of it. So that's... That's not a great idea, because then we're not going to be able to get it out again. Yeah? So we can turn the 4 into a 3. We could... Um, so if we move the 1 up here, yeah, that becomes a 3, and that becomes a 7. Right. If you then move the 7 into here, yeah, we're going to end up with a 3. Uh, 6. Ah, we're going to end up with a 3, 6, 1, and then you move the 6 back. Aha! Aha! Da, don't do that. Right. When you move when you move back into the game it registers as a, as a click so that's good to know right so we're gonna take the four and turn that into a seven yeah that's correct and then we're gonna take the seven and we're gonna drop six of them in here right and then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna skim off just one of them there we go. And that's how we solve that puzzle. Yeah! Okay. My friends. 
We are out of time for today's stream. We've gone a little, we've gone a touch over time already there, actually. But really great to uh, to finish the episode. Uh, really great to finish the episode on a successful solution. So that's 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 yes, that's a good that's a good place to end the episode for certain. Um, if you enjoyed this episode one of Mist Four Revelation. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube in the future, do please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Consider joining the Discord. The Discord's in the link below, and you can join Everett and Artavelli in uh, jolly cooperation as far as uh, uh, discussing the Denis languages and the intricacies of it go. Um, so for those of you on YouTube in the future, I will see you very soon. Have a great week. Bye for now. For those of us on Twitch, let's go.